scrubbing down the tables for our last night, just making sure everything's nice and set. Cutlery, menus, and a couple of toppings on each of the tables here, just making sure it's already nicely made. Uh, so it's a Friday, last day of service this week. We don't usually open on the weekends, but it's honestly been a great week for the restaurant. Uh, we've had an enormous jump in sales to what we've had last week. And um, I think it's due to like a lot of social media stuff. I, I'm not entirely sure honestly, but it's just been great service and it's great to see so many more people. We're just gonna pop into the kitchen, quick uh, meeting led by our head chef. And uh, then we should be opening service in about 10 minutes. So yeah, we're expecting a busy day. We've had a couple of orders online as well, uh, a couple of bookings. So we're ex already expecting quite a big service today. Yep, uh, everyone's here just finished uh, checking the tables. All looks set outside. So I think we're set for a, a successful evening. Alrighty, fellas, Friday night going to be crowded. Indeed, we hope so. Uh, we've had a good week. Sales finally starting to get where we want it. So let's continue the good work. I think that's uh, both a combination of the good cooking and good service, so teamwork all around. Let's keep things organized and continue working, stay focused, and let's have a good time. Nice pep talk from the chefs there. Uh, everyone knows the job, let's get it done. We do indeed. All right, let's have a good night. End up this week on a high, probably our best week of service so far. So let's, uh, let's do this. No, I think we're all good. Um, yeah, all right. Well, good luck on the kitchen. We'll be outside and uh, let's get those doors open. I already see some cars outside and actually a couple of people waiting. We'll go ahead and do the honors, I suppose. Welcome. Good evening, everyone. Welcome inside. There we go. Right, let's uh, get two people manning the front desk here so we can get orders. Um, if we can just form two lines, please. Two lines and uh, my colleague and myself will uh, get all the uh, tables organized. Thank you. Perfect. All right. Hi, uh, sir. Have you booked online or are you just here for a seat? I uh, got a reservation for one. Perfect. What's your surname, please, sir? Uh, Dimitri. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Uh, let me go and lead you to your seat here if you just want to actually follow my colleague over there. They'll uh, just lead you to a seat there. Single person seat for Dimitri. Hi, uh, welcome. Uh, reservation for one. Can I get the surname, please? Yep, that's uh, perfect. Uh, I suppose I can lead you to your seat if you just want to follow me. Yep, perfect. Just in the booth over here. If you want to take a seat there. A colleague will be with you shortly to show you today's specials. Nice watch you out there. Um, hello, hello. Wow, we do have a growing queue actually. You should be able to find a bathroom. No worries. Hello, good evening, sir. What uh, can I get for you? Uh, anyone who owns a white Dodge? Uh, no, I don't believe that's any of our colleagues. Uh, is there, is there an issue outside? Oh, it's up for a repo. Oh, I see outside, yeah. Ah, okay, well that's a bit of an issue. A car's being towed by DOT. Oop, um, alright, well I think they can get that sorted between themselves and that's not really an issue for us. Let's go and check on the kitchen, see how things are going in here. Alright, how are we doing? Nice and busy in the kitchen there. Okay, good, good, good. Order's starting to come in. Hey, have you uh, figured out what uh, you've wanted? Uh, chili con carne and some water. Uh, yeah, would you like uh, tap water or bottled? Tap water. Perfect, we'll get that order for you now. All right, uh, be with you shortly. Thank you. All right, let's just pop another order onto the board here. Looking pretty good so far. Uh, we've tried to spread people out into like groups uh, as such. Uh, oh, yeah, sorry, so what can I get for you? A dessert menu. Uh, yeah, no, if you go and get seated, we can uh, get that for you. Don't worry about that. Oh, they're a food inspector. Yeah, no worries, no worries. We've had food inspectors before. Just uh, got to be polite. Just going to head outside, get a quick breather. Sun is definitely setting. The sky's grey almost. Yeah. But uh, yeah, parking is nice and full outside. So looking good, looking good out here. Yeah, it's busy. Nice to get outside, actually, once in a while. Just get away from all of the, the chaos inside. It's nice and quiet out here, so. It's a good location as well, you know. Even though we are beside busiest roads, we're protected by a couple of buildings. Oh, sorry about that, sorry. Uh, if you just head down to your seat, I'll make sure we get a waiter provided to you now. Ah, oh, sorry about that, sorry. Sorry for the delay, what can I get for you tonight? So one extra cheesy, extra spicy burrito and a Sprite. Perfect, I'll get that noted down for you. And what would you like? A classic Mexican burger, please, with a Sprite. So two Sprites. All right, perfect. We'll get that next time. All righty, thank you. We'll get that for you now shortly. Wait, is that coming from the kitchen? Yeah, we all good in here? What was that noise? I see smoke coming from here. What's going on? What's go- Oh my goodness me. Why is there a car inside here? Okay, 
Uh, alright, alright. Uh, help, help me drag this, this, uh, person out from underneath the car before it gets any further in. Uh, let's just drag these guys out from under the car. Can we have all of the, uh, all customers please follow me. All customers please follow me now out through the front door. Let's go. All customers out through the front door. Let's go. Out, out, out. Let's go. Single fire line out through the front door, please. Let's go. Uh, we've got a fire extinguisher. Perfect. All right. Hey, uh, can I have help over here? Can I help her help uh, over the right side of the car? I need to, I need someone to help me. Oh, gosh. There's, there's someone, yeah. You see the, the customer over there. Uh, the chair is supporting the car. I don't know if we can get them out from it. Um, have we got anything we can prop the car up with? Uh, hey, I need all customers outside. All customers outside, please. All customers outside. Yeah, I know your friend's inside the car. We've got to go for now. We need something to prop up the car with so we can get this, uh, the person on the chair out. Hey, hey, let's, uh, let's drag them out. Yeah, let's drag them out. Oh, no. Okay, come on. Drag them out. Drag them out. Yeah, let's go. Let's just get them out. Just get them out. Out from under the car, then they should be safer. Right. Let's go. All right. Uh, can you take care of them? Try and bring them outside. Uh, we've also got another waiter under here as well. I, I don't want to get too close to the vehicle. Um, but yeah. Hey, uh, can I have some help? Officer, officer, over here. There's someone. There's two people. One person is stuck uh, under the chair and then another person's under the vehicle completely. We need something to prop it up with. All right, look, we got to stabilize the car. we we got to at least stabilize the car, prevent it from moving anymore because it's shaking pretty violently. It's not exactly held up very well. Let me move out of the way. They've got police barricades. Maybe placing one or two of those could support it. It's wooden, though, so I'm not sure how much it's meant to support. It's just supposed to be a sign, really. Medic starting CPR over there. Nothing really we can do now. We've propped it up. Fire department's here as well, so I think our best bet is to move out of the way. Um... Oh my goodness, yeah. We need medics inside as well. Yeah, that's not great. Okay, uh, so there's three people over there injured, one person out here. Uh, our best bet is just to stay back since well, now fire department's here, they're going to take the reins. Hey, it's okay, it's okay. Just stand back, stand back. Look, fire department's going to do their job. Everyone's going to get out of here safely, right? Just, uh, yeah, bear with them. Does look smoky. That's a good point, actually. We have ventilation in the kitchen, but uh, out, out here there's nothing really, so... Best advice we can give is uh, opening up the windows and finding air uh, that way. New stove is, yeah, new stoves, but that's kind of the least of our concerns. If we have an incident involving three or four people run over by a car inside of our restaurant, that's going to be hitting mainline news and that's not great for our reputation. So I think that's what we should be worried about, honestly. It wasn't our fault, no, but it's going to look bad on us regardless. Um, I, how would it bring in new customers? I, I, it gets our name out there, sure, but you know, if, pe if, if we have people fearing that they're going to be run over by a car inside of the restaurant itself, that's not great. And th yeah, there's nothing we could do to prevent it, but at the same time, it's not going to do any good for us either. So we're not allowed back in the building for quite a while. Um, fire department, of course, have to clear it out, and then police have to do their investigation. And yeah, they've got to figure out why a vehicle in the first place drove through uh the the wall news are here which is unsurprising jumping at any chance to get an interesting news article and this is definitely one of them it's a, it's honestly a shame that we had to end like this um but hopefully hopefully we can jump back and recover quickly